Welcome to tonight's homework help for Monday night, August 27th, 2012. Um, we're exploring integers today. Label the integer that is graphed on each number line. Here's the number line. Here's zero. We know positives are to the right, and we can tell because there's a positive five in that direction. We know that negatives are to the left, and we can tell because there's a negative 5 as a label in that direction. And it happens to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units away. So if we count backwards, we go negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, going in the negative direction. So we label that negative 4. Okay, let's try one of these problems that have uh, the numbers going up and down. So uh, here we have a number line that goes up and down. Here's our zero. Uh, we know positive is up because we have a positive five in the up direction uh, above zero. And we know that down is negative because we have a negative five below the zero as we go down the number line. Uh, so we count in the negative direction, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six. So we label that negative 6. And taking a look at a couple more down here, we have um, which integer 2 is more than negative, which integer is 2 more than negative 6. So more than negative 6 would be in the uh, right or positive direction. Uh, so we would go from negative 6 two spaces to the right so negative 5 negative 4 so we'd end up at negative 4 which integer is 2 less than negative 6 so again we're at the number line and we have a negative 6. We know that negative is to the left or less than 0. And then 2 less than negative 6 would be less than would be in the left or down direction. Um, so negative 7, negative 8 would be my new destination. On the back side of the homework we have the student store Alicia went to the student store at lunch. And here we have prices on the student store. Pens are 39 cents. Stickers, 22 cents. Erasers are 44, 42 cents. Pencils are 29 cents. And paper is 32 cents. Uh, it says that Alicia had 70 cents. She bought two items. When she left the store, she had some change left. Okay, Which two items could she have bought? So we have to write one of the items here and another item here. And then we have to show how much they cost together. So we have to write out what one of the items was and write out what another one was. Um, w w when we write out the first one, we'll also put the price here. And when we write out the second one, we'll put the price below it. And then we'll add those prices together and show that it is less than 70 cents and that it consists of two items. And make sure she has change left so it can't be exactly 70 cents. Good luck.